enter through the Thus they separated from each other. Abram stayed in the land of Canaan, while Lot settled among the cities of the plain, pitching his tent near Sodom. Now the inhabitants of Sodom were very wicked in the sins they committed against the Lord. Word of the Lord. I heard someone once say something like, when the grass is greener on the other side, Maybe, maybe it is thriving on sewage. And this is how I see things when I'm facing temptations. I can smell sin and it is disgusting. So I turn away and I turn to the Lord for help and guidance. Abram turned Abraham, pray for us. We pray in the Holy Psalms. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue. He who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. Word of the Lord. Yesterday, our Lord asked us to watch our thoughts, our words, and today we pray that we don't slander. Yet that's all we see, especially on the news and shows and gossip, people gossiping. It's all about slander, isn't it? An insult to the next party? Frankly, I'm disgusted. It stinks. We will be held. We're all going to be held liable for every last word we say. And how many words fall out of our mouths like dead anchor weights? They hold you down, not just the other party. Lord, we pray for righteousness to spring forth from your holiness. Three things our Lord said to us today. Do not give what is holy to dogs, or throw your pearls before swine, lest they trample them underfoot, and turn and tear you to pieces. Gospel of the Lord. From the land of Cana came a woman with a possessed daughter with demons pleading for her life to save her daughter. And our Lord answered, It is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. What kind of answer was this? Like the time our Lord said to his mother, Woman, why does this concern us? It is not yet my time. Were all of these replies in this respect? To a proud and arrogant person, yeah, they are. But when the Canaanite, hence dog woman, replied, Yes, Lord, she said, even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. She desired what was of God not for personal gain, and her pleading became a miracle of salvation. It was the same as Mother Mary's response, do whatever he tells you. It is to leave it in God's hands. Today, what do we do with what is holy? We throw it to the dogs. What is holy? The word of God, right? The holy sacraments, right? What is holy is what of things, things of God. What do we give to dogs? Scraps that what we don't want anymore, right? What will make us desire and acquire a taste for holiness? Humility, gratefulness, holy and healthy fear of the Lord. The second thing our Lord said today, do to others what you would have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. Word of the Lord. I desire mercy, guys. So lately, I've tried hard to be merciful to others. There are some times I could just flat out tell someone in their face how wrong they are sinning and living. But I look inside. Now is not the time, nor is the manner I'm thinking suitable to be fruitful for God's kingdom. So I pray and I wait for the Lord. Days later, this happened a few days ago, I let the person know only after serving them, buying them things and doing them favors. I said, you know what you were doing the other day? That's a cause for scandal on my children. Can you please watch out for that? And it made for a productive conversation. 
Much more is accomplished with love than hatred and feelings. The golden rule belongs to Jesus, mercy himself. Thirdly, we heard today, enter through the narrow gate, for the gate is wide and the road broad that leads to destruction. And those who enter through it are many. How narrow the gate and constricted the road that leads to life. And those who find it are few. For Lot's separation from Abram, seeing a wide luscious green valley was enticing to the eyes, knowing full well that Sodom was nearby and was wicked. And that is how we all fall into temptation. You go near wicked things, thinking you can handle it, and soon it takes over. Yesterday I told a teenage nephew that was helping me, you leave a little crack and little poisonous creatures can creep in. Therefore, we should be ever watchful, always on the lookout for sin. At my house out in the country, I just added some solar lights to a concrete driveway to light the drive as we walk in on it. We walk on it at night. And I do it to avoid stepping on snakes at night, as I've already encountered half a dozen poisonous snakes this year, especially at night. So when we walk around as a family praying in the late evening, I am ever watching. And when I see a kid get off the path, I scold him to get back on. Get out of the green grass, stop playing, and focus on prayer. And that is how I live my life. Ever watchful of evil temptation, snakes. I've taught my kids lately that when they spot a poisonous creature to not lose sight of it until I arrive so I can handle it, remove it from the home, killing it out of our lives if necessary. And now... We should be thinking of our spiritual homes, of course. When you spot evil in your life, keep it in your sights until you get rid of it. Otherwise, what is ignored is permitted and permissiveness hurts and kills. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord of heaven and earth, we heard thy words of how to treat one another. No more slander. And treating them as we'd like to be treated. By you, Heavenly Father, and that narrow door led to by a constricted way. Very few are faithful. And I'm afraid of not being faithful, as faithful as you desire. Help us desire, have an appetite for what is holy. Yes, holy, all things people call religious and they despise. I want to treasure a deep life of prayer and reverence and honor to thy holy name and sacred heart for what you did and are doing in the world today. Amen from your brother in Christ our Lord, Adrian, at goingforth.com. Today's random Bible verse. The reward for humility and fear of the Lord is riches and honor and life.